Hello, this is Grandma's Gone Gaming. I am bringing you another house tour. This one was actually uploaded once, in case you think, where did that one go? Um, but I wanted to change how I'm doing these, since I'll be doing quite a few of them. And I had messed up on several different things, and I hadn't actually put this part into the video the same way that I'm going to do it now. Um, this is the obviously main picture in this particular number 23-2761 plan and you can skip around to see interior views on this one which I didn't follow but sometimes I do when I build but I didn't on this one but we're still going to go into here we're going to click on that and then we can see all these things down here so we'll get a, a little bit more of an overview this obviously is the main photo and I tried to stay pretty close to that most I like usually at least to make that uh, my main view of the house um, with the big windows here and I had to do it differently as you may have already seen but you'll see again All right, so then this is the back porch which I did a little differently than they have they have more of a lounge setup mine's more of a kitchen and barbecue area back there and uh, this gives me the color that I needed for that end of the house which I wasn't sure about when I looked at that view there so yeah this is not what the interior of mine looks like. Well, actually, the table's over here. It's somewhat similar here, but you'll see that I made some changes in this area. This divider here is very similar. Come on, go to the next one. There we go. Um, then we have uh, the fireplaces in here that I have. Um, not the same. That really is kind of an ugly fireplace, I think. <laughs> Looks like somebody tried to run it over or something. I'm sure it's supposed to be... I'm not sure what it's supposed to look like. I don't care for it. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so this is very similar to what I have. The setup actually looks pretty much like that. Now, my closet over there is a little different than that, and my area here is different, but it does go into the, quote, garage on that side, and this is kind of the same with stairs because we can do that now that bend around the corner and so yeah that's the same idea so then we have the floor plans themselves which I st pretty much stuck to um, I actually wasn't going to do the dining room the same way but I did uh, as you can see here the ki they have a kitchen going through into I'm not sure exactly what that looks like extra counter space probably it's just storage space um, I did the same kind of thing from there I didn't want another door here, so I changed it here. You'll see that when we get into it. But this is pretty much the same, and the garage has been turned into an interior greenhouse instead of a garage, because we don't need a garage. Upstairs, we have the same. This is open to the, the ground below. We have the master bedroom, and then I rearranged bathroom and stuff here, because there's actually a little bigger space up there than it shows here. And then bedroom two and bedroom three are single, beds in them and they have they all have computers each one of these rooms has computers laundry room is here uh, this is a little seating area um, in my plan rather than put an extra closet out there and this is another big bathroom here so yeah there's plenty of bathroom space and then this would be if you were going to put a basement in which I did not do okay so I will be going now we'll click back into the regular page right there and then we'll be going into the game and seeing that part now we are actually on the lot which is house plan number 23-2761 and the inhabitant of this lot is my uh, young adult sim, sim self and you can find her on my page um, in the library if you want to put her in you can course rename her do anything you want but she is if we go to the gallery and we go to my own library which you would have to search for which was right there um, view the catalog and then she is way down at the bottom of the page because she was one of the very first things I made when we got the Sims 4 okay there we go she is down here so yeah I have my uh, my child my teen, my young adult, my adult, and then my 
elder, <laughs> which is what I am now. So yeah, there, uh, I pretty much am accurate on those. It was pretty easy to make, not too bad. So we have here, as you can see in the house plans, which you can look back into, or you can actually go to the site and look at it. This is kind of the way that it looks when you see it um, on the plans. Now, it had I needed full windows, and I couldn't do that the way I wanted to. So what I decided, I built a wall of windows, which is so much fun these days, because any of the windows can be just put right next to each other. You can move, and now I keep my move objects on so I can uh, uh, use, and I use F5 so that I can move to the quarter grid. Oh, I did not put that gremlin there. I think somebody must have left a gift. I don't use the gremlins. <laughs> she must have had visitors. Um, interesting, because the last time I was in here, that gremlin was not there. <laughs> okay, so we'll just leave it for now anyway. Um, yeah, so I made a whole wall of windows in a, a pattern that was appealing to me, and then matches up with the same windows used over here, slightly different pattern, but as you can see, they're matched up for symmetry. And then we have the other windows there, which it's kind of hard to tell where they should have gone in some of those um, elevation drawings. So um, I just kind of punted and made good use here of the platform. This is a, a platform that's been raised up, I think, three times so that it looks much more like what is in the actual plan. As you can see, it's here's, here's where the uh, the house layer actually stops there and then there's a roof to that layer on there but it's yeah in order to make this work with the stairs that you can see through there um, I just used these I had done some other windows and I finally decided why bother because I can make what I want with by using those two windows and then of course this is not a garage yeah so you can see in here she has a greenhouse in there and the bricks go all the way around this side and then you have the siding again around here uh, and i mentioned as i was going through the plans that this is not a lounging area this is actually a full kitchen you can do barbecuing here and then you have your sink here and you have a full counter you have what you need here and a little refridge and this one does have the fireplace in it and I try, did my best to match it up when we get to the inside, which we're going to go into now. I've used interesting lights in here, and there's a lot of them, as you can see, but they kind of fade from view when you get in here. You can see the lighting. I wanted to use them because they give a really nice light without overdoing it. Now, this one, I did make it so that you have the upper floor here. You can get up here and you can look down, which was a little bit difficult to do because of the way that the windows are done. We have the curtains here and with hanging plants and I stuck with all of the uh, kind of neutral colors. Um, there is by the way a uh, fire hazard thing here, an, an alarm, so she can actually use that. She's got her fall clothes on here, or cold weather clothes and then bookshelves and plants some game room here for when you have visitors i stuck with very much the same um, either a small tile or a um, the same horizontal look here in these rooms so that they all stay tuned together because they had a tendency the way the way I was seeing it in the first time, it, it, it just seemed to be choppy and blocky, but making it look this way where the floors have the same direction to them, I think really helped. Now here is the pantry here, which there was a strange areas in the, in the plans. I just made it here with utility area here and just some little pictures to set off the colors. These are not usable. There's nothing you can do with them. They have things in them already, extra plates and glasses and all that. Then I went with the copper look with all the other things. So it's, it's more of a metal, which gives it much more of the modern look, I think, rather than the contemporary, at least to me. Um, try to keep everything pretty much that way. I did use wood, so 
Mm, yeah, contemporary works also. Contemporary or modern. Um, uh, the table has the same lines as the floor, whether it's the carpet or the wood. And the same curtains over here. Now, when you get up here into this top, I did the same pattern. The, and this is the bricks. They don't match perfectly with the floor bricks or anything. And they don't have the same color once you get in here. They look brownish out here, but they look pink in here. But it's the best I could do <laughs> with Sims 4 coloring. I sure miss being able to recolor things from The Sims 3 where we had our own palettes and could make them any way we want. But it is what it is. All right, so we have the same curtains here. It, identical setup. These, obviously, to get them to work, I had to make the use the really long curtains that come right down to the same thing there. Um, I tried doing the short ones, and it just didn't match up the correct way. And then these little ones in here, same way there. But I didn't try to put any hanging plants there. <laughs> that would have been just a little too much, I think. Okay, so then elsewhere here in the upstairs, you have the uh, full-size bedroom, the master bedroom up here. And as you can see, there is quite a bit more space in it than was on the plan. I just made these smaller. I made this bigger, just matched in the hallway better that way, I thought. And the large closet here. And I used this. This is so much fun just to use these. And you have a walk-in shower here. It has a door on it, just by the way a glass door so you have that but you can't shut the curtain so <laughs> it's it's just that's what it is and you just have to pretend the, sh the curtain gets shut and then you have the uh, twin bedrooms over here oh and she has her own again this is the same coffee table as downstairs same kind of lines you have her own little computer station here those things are so handy and you can put books on them and flowers and all that kind of stuff here is the single room number one that has stuff on the shelves and a computer there also same here these are identical they're just flipped and here we have the laundry room which is a really nice size laundry room you don't really need that much room unless you use some of the other decorations but yeah it's cute and you have your vacuum cleaner and your your um, room and dustpan there and then here I was gonna put seating in here but I ended up just putting a bookcase it seemed like a little much to add a chair out there there is seating down here so she can pick a book up and take it down there oh wait yeah, that's right that's what I did I put the chair here so yeah there's all ceiling lighting so again once you get in there you can't really see it and that's one nice thing about it it's not in the way yet it provides light and you can see that it's there so then we have the large bathroom with the hamper the other bathrooms have hampers as well and basically that's it it's a pretty simple house it was not real easy to build because of having to get that platform thing going here to make that work right with the plan but yeah I don't really want oh and then she has a bicycle out here too oh and then in here and we didn't go actually take a closer look at this the greenhouse this is actually planted there we go um, and she's done all that and then this shelf over here you can uh, put plants on and plant them and then another bookshelf here these are just you know decoration stuff but uh, um, they're fun and that is actually usable and there we go a farmhouse picture on the wall and she can sit here and she can have tea and she has a coffee pot in here it's right there and yeah there you go so there's that house oh and then the oh, I keep forgetting the um, that's the open closet here it's just a coat closet coat, coat hanging and shoe <laughs> storage area and these are the bendable stairs which I really like I'm glad they did that glad they did that it makes it a lot uh, nicer to be able to have special stairways now so there we go we're back at the beginning with the gnome out there which I'll get rid of okay thank you for watching and um, if you had seen this before in the other pre presentation sorry about changing it out on you um, I'm just trying to get things um, aligned a little bit better for multiple um, versions of these house plants thanks for watching and bye for now